remember marquees on websites with the text scrolling across the screen? Well, one way to increase engagement on apps is to have a button that does a similar thing and has text scrolling across it. And I've managed to implement something like that and I'd love to show you how. So with these marquee buttons, arguably I've gone overboard on this example, but you can see there's text and images that scroll across. When you click them, it just sets off an action. In this example code, it doesn't do anything too interesting, just writes to the console. But I'm going to cover just these couple of buttons at the bottom, just because it has the radius here and just because this one has been subclassed. And basically I'm using CA animation to make it scroll across the screen. So this rounded image button, which is this one, one before last, corner radius, yes, yes, not too interesting. Um, center the text, so it starts off at the middle. Um, we set up with auto layout and then add the sub view, which is going to be that image in the middle. And I use constraints to center it within that button and then we animate. So that image.fill, it's just that uh, file type image. So we combine, combine it to the sub view of the outer bounds and we need to know the midpoint of the button. So therefore, I've used the title label of the button to calculate that. There's probably other ways of doing it, but I thought that was reasonable. And the left hand side to scroll out but I don't want to go all the way over the screen. I want to go out a little bit and enough so the text just moves outside so it looks like it's kind of wrapping around. And then I'm using this CA basic animation and from the right hand side, so I'm taking the width of the label and adding 15. So it's just starting outside the button there. And then here is the meat of the animation where we're saying, Ah, it goes from the right hand side to the middle and the timing for that is correct. And then what happens? Well, I make sure that it reappears in the middle and then goes to the left. So this goes from the mid point to the left hand side. So we're going from the right to the middle and then to the left. So when it's finished, we're hiding it because as we go off here, we hide it because we don't want to see the image as it goes out. And actually what happens is I quickly move it to the right hand side again. So it's kind of like we're going through and of course we have to make it reappear. So in order to make it a bit easier and to have a single time, I've used CA animation group and put these all together and got the time, which is the duration, to work with these durations and beginning times. So it took a bit of um, experimentation to get right, but I got it in the end. And here we're hiding it. So this code's available on the repo, so you can go through it. And I've left all these comments on to try to make it a little bit easier to understand what's going on. And we add the animation to the label and then we animate it. So in a similar fashion, I've got a subclassed animation button. So it's subclassed, so if we're using this programmatically or with a frame, you want to hit the customize, which is where the animation set up, and also whenever the frame changes. And here is a similar animation where it goes from the right to the left and just keeps moving. Now, because this is not an image and it's just one bit of text, this is actually easier to follow because the other one has text and image. So probably worth looking through this one first and then having a look at this one with a dual image and text. This is meant to be a bit of fun, but it's something you could use to attract a user to use your application. And I hope this is helpful to you. So the main takeaway here is you can quite easily create marquee buttons. It's better to do in a subclass. And please, please, please look at the code on the repo. It makes it so much easier. And you can then take that and use it in your own projects. And I hope this has been helpful to you. Bye.